The largest update to Windows we've ever seen officially arrives today, and unlike Windows 8, you might actually want to get on this one right away. And here are a few reasons why. Windows 8 was a bit of a mixed bag. Many desktop users felt like the OS was trying to cram a mobile-like experience down their throats, and it all just felt kind of icky. So Microsoft went back to the drawing board, and after a rocky training montage or two, they're coming back swinging with Windows 10. We've been testing the new OS for a little while now, and here are our favorite improvements so far. The first thing we liked is they made subtle improvements to common functionality. The Start menu is still the Start menu, but they've added Windows 8 style Live Tiles, which is a fair compromise that doesn't take away from the experience people are familiar with. Alt-tabbing to switch between programs now brings up the task switcher, and with bigger thumbnails and a shortcut on the taskbar, it's honestly an improvement. And when you want to manage your open windows better, there's a new Snap Assist feature that will let you quickly and easily snap applications to a half or quarter of the screen. And doing so brings up the option to choose another app to snap to the other side which is a small but significant productivity improvement. And that seems to be the overall theme to Windows 10. It's not tectonic shifts, it's lots of little attention to detail improvements that make your overall experience better. The next improvement is a bit controversial, but hear us out. We're talking about Microsoft's voice-activated personal assistant, Cortana. Now, normally we're not huge fans of voice-assisted anything, but the integration in Windows 10 can actually be pretty useful sometimes, since it's always aware of context. Like, if you're on a restaurant's website, you can ask her for the phone number, and she will understand which phone number you're talking about, which is pretty cool. You can also, of course, use it to create reminders and do other personal assistant-related tasks, which wouldn't really be too much of a plus, because you probably don't have a Windows phone, right? Well, Microsoft realizes they're not going to be able to get everyone to ditch their iPhones and Galaxies, so they're going to be releasing Cortana for Android and iOS as well, making it actually useful between whatever device you happen to be using. More than we can say for Siri, at least. But for us, probably the most important improvement in Windows 10 is its flexibility. You don't want the Windows 8-style live tiles on the Start menu? You can get rid of them. You don't want your tablet to switch to tablet mode when you remove the keyboard? That's also an option. They've built a new user interface, but all of it is really easy to change to suit your liking. And last but not least, it's free for the first year for all current Windows 7 or 8 users, and there's really no price better than free. So those are a few of our favorite things about Windows 10 that we've discovered. But how about you guys? Do you think Windows 10 is going to redeem Microsoft after a rocky Windows 8 release? Are you going to be upgrading right away or waiting to see how things play out? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time on Big Shiny Things.